This video is part two um, on expanding our uh, skill set when it comes to solos <clears throat> or improvisation. So, uh, last video, if you want to check it out, it's a little bit uh, more straightforward than this one. This one is a little bit more complex because it uses um, some of the modes of the major scale. <clears throat> so, if you're not familiar with the modes of the major scale, then I suggest. Um, you take a minute and um, just familiarize yourself with those modes. I'll do my best to quickly explain them in this video, but um, uh, it, you're really going to get the most out of this um, if you already have some sort of understanding of what at least the shapes of the modes or how to play all seven of the modes of the major scale. Um, so, last video we worked on the pentatonic shift, moving from minor to major. And uh, in this video, we're going to be exploring some ideas that'll take our soloing to a new level in that it'll we can easily make it sound like we're following right in tow with the chord changes in any given song um, in our song that uh, for demonstration purposes we're going to be using a simple one four five progression and the progress all, all the chords in that progression are going to be a dominant seven chords it's very important um, for the purposes of this video, uh, so if you're jamming along, uh, make sure that you're gonna that you're doing all dominant seven chords, okay? Or in other words, uh, basically a major chord with a flat seven in it, okay? All right, so. <laughs> Let's just get right, uh, let's just get started. So <clears throat> we're going to do everything in the key of G. Okay, I have a backing track uh, that I'm going to jam to later. That's in the key of G. It's a country backing track, kind of cool. Um, it doesn't this the, the stuff that I'm going to teach you doesn't just apply to country. It applies to any song that uses this uh, these chord changes or one or two of these uh, chord changes. So we're going to start off in the key of G, and it's a dominant seven, like I said. Now. This is where your um, prior knowledge of modes is going to come in handy because um, if you know your modes, then you know that G dominant 7 is actually in the key of C major because we have C Ionian, D Dorian, E Phrygian, F Lydian, and G Mixolydian. G Mixolydian is the fifth mode in our 7 modes of the major scale. So that's kind of important because when we're in G mixolydian, we're in C major. Now you, that you don't need to that's not that's not gonna make a whole lot of sense or, or it's not gonna mean much at this point because we're only dealing with one chord. So let's just concentrate on this chord and we'll move to the next one. So we have G mixolydian Anytime that the band is playing the one chord, you're going to be playing Mixolydian in, in G. Okay. Um, now, so that's fine, but you can't use Mixolydian, uh, G Mixolydian, when we go to the next chord, which is C7. Okay, some of these notes don't jive. Okay, so we need to change the mode. Now this is where that um, your prior knowledge comes in. So remember, G mixolydian is in the key of C. So what would C mixolydian be in the key of F? Okay, so C mixolydian would be in the key of F major. And so we want to do a scale. We don't want to do a scale in, in, in F, and we don't want to do it in C. We want to do a scale in G so that we don't have to move our hand position. Um, so we have F Ionian, and the second mode is G Dorian, which would give you the sound of C Mixolydian. Okay, now that's probably going to be really confusing for those of you who, like I said, aren't familiar with modes. Um, so if that's confusing, then you know you don't need to know the theory behind it necessarily to get uh, use out of this lesson. So for you, all you need to know is that um, 
in first position we're playing G mixolydian, and in second, fourth, for sorry, for our first chord we're playing G mixolydian. For our fourth chord, we are playing G dorian. So now let's go over those two uh, modes in full. So first off, we have <coughs> G mixolydian. That's the whole G mixolydian, and you can rewind that and practice that um, and get really familiar with it. Next, we have G Dorian, which is in the key of F major, or yeah, F major, um, which we we will use to give us a C mixolydian sound. And here's how you play G Dorian. Okay, and then in the same way uh, that we figured out what scale to play for C7, um, or the 4 chord, we're going to do the same thing for the 5 chord. So now, D mixolydian is in the key of G major, so that's great. We don't have to move uh, our scale position because G major is right in the, in the tone that we want it to be in or in the position that we want it to be in. So here's our G major scale. So now we have three modes, Mixolydian, Dorian, and uh, Ionian. So now that doesn't sound like much by itself, but I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, sort of a cappella, if you will. Um, I'm going to solo through these modes, and I want you to sort of see if you can pick out when I'm changing, when I'm implying that we've changed to a, another chord, a different chord. Okay? Uh, so here we go. So hopefully, you, that, so that was just all made up, all improvised, um, using those three scales. And hopefully, you could hear when I was changing, or when I was implying that I was in sh that the, the the imaginary music was changing keys. Now you can't do that um, very well with uh, just your pentatonic scale. If you're just staying strictly within your pentatonic. So you can still do it, but it's not as colorful. It's not as um, pleasant, and it doesn't just—it doesn't sound like you're really moving with those chords. It just sort of sounds like you're just hacking away at a uh, one scale that you've been playing for the last 15 years um, <clears throat> of your life. So here's what it sounds like with um, a fairly upbeat uh, backing track. Now again, this is—I chose this track because it's really clear where the chord changes are uh, for your um, uh, comprehension and uh, but you can you can apply this to any one four apply this specific lesson to any one four five um, blues rock or uh, country or folk or jazz chord progressions so it, it applies to a lot of things so here's how we uh, here's how we do it in practice Mixolydian, okay? slower. Mixolydian.
Victorian. Back to Mixolydian. Then Ionian. Dorian. Okay, now a little bit crazier. 